Hey everybody, brand new segment here, Tally Mashups. Do you like eating like me? Of course you do, you're human. Right. <laughs> Joined with me today is uh, local artist Marcus Thomas uh, from the uh, previous uh, Dave's Pizza Garage Pizza Review. Marcus, do you like to eat? Yeah. Yeah, you like to yeah. eat? Yeah. You don't seem like it. I do. Yeah? Yeah. Prove it to me. Uh, yeah, you can't. Anyway. <laughs> Want to be able to support more than just one restaurant? Why not seven at one time? Why not burn through your money? <laughs> we went around to our favorite places in town and we took one menu item and mashed it together with another menu item, making a brand new thing. So we're gonna taste test what we got. We went to everybody's favorite uh, downtown restaurant, Harry's Seafood. And uh, we also went to Burrito Border, and we made what I like to call the Jambalaya Burrito. Let's give it a taste. Oh, this is it. Is there chicken in there too? Yes, there is chicken and sausage. Chicken, yeah. And their own house-made rice. This is delicious. I'm gonna save that for later because that does be really good. Next, I'm gonna try out this, uh, this steak taco ramen with the ramen from Boru Boru and the steak taco from Burrito Border. I feel weird just watching you eat, so I'm just not going to. <laughs> oh, you know what? No, no, that's fine by me. <laughs> this is a choice. It's like, wow, that looks really good. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's nice. It's good. Make sure you do a little steak in there, too. This is really good. It's cold because it's been sitting in my, <laughs> around while we've been setting up, but yeah. heat it up. This would be even better. This is absolutely delicious. I'm gonna need to go back there and to Burrito Border because those are those actually top. Like, those are up there on my favorite places in town. You know, in addition to Burrito Borders, burritos just being good. Mm -hmm. That's just a cool place to go. <laughs> like right. Mm. I'll, I'll get myself a little churro afterwards as well. Uh, Wait, they got churros? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Delicious, and I think they're yeah they're really cheap too. A real a real nice dessert after my uh, uh, I normally get the uh, um, pork al pastor and mm -hmm. um, the jalapenos that I put on there also like after finishing that it's just accented really well with churros like really good and then they got video games so you know there's that. All right, Marcus, let's move on yes. to these beauties, yes. these donut chicken sandwiches. I've been waiting for you to get done with the others so I can get to this. Oh yeah, just so you can, oh my God. So you can actually, eat. oh wow. The donut's so soft. These are courtesy of Donut Kingdom and Chubby's Chicken Fingers. Oh, that's perfect. Mm. That's perfect. Mm. <laughs> Marcus, you have the glazed one. Mm -hmm. How was that? There are only so many ways you can do just a plain glaze um, donut, but mm -hmm. Donut Kingdom's dough. First of all, the dough is just really good. It's really soft and it practically melts in your mouth without it, it without without it needing to be hot. The glaze is also really delicious. Like everybody's had different glazed donuts, but this is distinct on its own. Mm -hmm. I have the. Uh... Mm. 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 <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> is that good? It's delicious. I have the uh, the raspberry filled jelly donut one, mm -hmm. which I cut in half, which seems like a mortal sin. Now what jelly did you get? Raspberry. Did you say that already? Yeah, I just said that. Ah, oh, dang it, sorry. You wouldn't even think that the jelly would work here, but it really does. Oh wow, this is delicious. I mean, it kind of works as its own kind of sauce on yours. You'll just have to imagine it because I don't feel like sharing tonight. Yeah. You ready to move on? Yes. All right. Yeah, because I, I'm very curious about how this will turn out. Okay. I really don't want my face to twist and it's just like, mmm, that's terrible. <laughs> Here in front of us, we have what is known as the Cafe Palmer. We went to Red Eye Coffee and got normal black coffee, mm -hmm. but we also went to Girlie's Lemonade and got some of their amazing lemonade. And, oh no, it's not, a, this isn't about their their Oreo, their, their fried Oreos, but those were delicious too, so anyway. Yes, yes. Anyway. we got some of those too. Those are for me, I'm, I'm eating them on my own. Uh, unless I eat it first. Cheers. Cheers, do not knock it until you try it. Which I'm trying right now, for the first time.
I can see where someone might not like it, but this is actually pretty good. I have no point of reference in my brain for this kind of taste, but mm -hmm. I'm kind of blown away. <laughs> <laughs> in a very strange way. You wouldn't think this would work. You really wouldn't. You would never think so. He suggested it to me and I thought he was crazy. Uh, but this is actually pretty good. Wait, do you actually mean that though? Mm-hmm. Okay. Like it has the bold, like... That bold coffee flavor. That bold coffee flavor. But it, but the, like the lemonade like cuts right through mm -hmm. and it's so strained, it, but it's so good. It's like two really bold forces and like they come together, but in a way that negates some of the other like extremes. They're so different. Yeah. And they, that they actually end up working. Yeah, like they mix uh, on the good parts of their flavors. I was on course to believe that the jelly donut chicken sandwich was my favorite, but mm. like <laughs> the, the Cafe Palmer is actually really good. Is that thing people really get? You don't hear much about it, but like it's really like mm. it's only for the brave and the strong. Are you are you brave enough to try a Cafe Palmer? I bet you're not, but you know. <laughs> Thanks for watching live in Tallahassee. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram for more content. Yeah.